Welcome back to the channel, guys. I truly appreciate you guys coming back to the channel. I appreciate you guys hitting the like. Appreciate you guys hitting the notification bell, leaving great comments, leaving vulgar language free comments. We're gonna jump right into this right here, but um this just an update, guys, on C McLean, okay? Let's get into it. Charts came up for the Florida Hurricanes, and as you see right there at cornerback, you have Marshall Jackson and Foster. At the other cornerback position, you have Moore, Johnson, and Grimsley. And even at the safety positions, Castle Bridges and Smith and Turner Douglas and Thornton. Unfortunately, on that list is not Cartmani and McClain. Now, people were saying that um, he had an injury, eye injury, wasn't able to perform in some. Well, guys, I don't know what's going on, why he's not on the list. I'm not going to speculate on why he's not on the list. I'm going to stay focused on the list of the starters that's playing for Miami. And C. McLean is not on there. Now he's probably thinking, I don't know what he's thinking, but if I was him, I would be thinking right now, why didn't I stay at Colorado? I'm a cornerback and one of the greatest cornerbacks in the league, Deion Sanders, was my coach and my mentor, and I left that situation. Uh, I'll be just disappointed with myself. But um, we all make, mis well, many of us made mistakes like this when we were young, and I made more than this young man did. So let's get back into the video. Some scrimmages, different things of that, that nature. Um, but could it be a situation where he almost should have just stayed with the Colorado Buffaloes? Because I think he definitely would have been no worse than second unit with the Buffs. You know, getting a whole nother year um, offseason with Coach Mo, just understanding the scheme um, with Livingston, understanding the players. But the thing about it, when you're young, you start getting frustrated. And this is second time riding the bench, and he's like with a big fish in a small pond in high school and then he's a small fish in, a, in the ocean so um at this point wasn't starring at colorado and not starring not even on the not even on the roster of this team so that's that could lead to disappointments and discouragement um if anyone knows this guy or if you are watching steve mcclain don't be discouraged hold your head up and keep doing what you can do to um, do your part. Oh, and if the weed situation was a real thing, stop doing the weed, dude. That's for anybody. Stop doing weed. There's understanding everything that goes into playing with the Colorado Buffaloes and should have jumped the ship and going to play with the Florida Gators because now, unfortunately, like I just said, He's not even much on the depth chart. Now, could he still travel with the team and play in the game and just be on special teams, just on, on kickoff or something like that? You possibly have that possibility if that does happen. But as of right now, you see, but the thing about it too, guys, um, he was not going to practice with, with, with the, uh, at high school, Colorado, and he wasn't going to practice. And show him for meeting and films, watching films. So, with him not doing those things, that's he's not showing the um, the coaching staff that he has some kind of initiative to, or some kind of not the initiative. He don't have any get up and go to um, to go um, work hard for what he wants. So, I don't know. I'm just keeping you guys updated with this guy. With that said, guys. I'm done breaking bread.